Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back with the Ocean Liner in Stormworks. And honestly, I've got to the point now where I don't want to be working on this thing anymore. And there's reason for that, there is actually quite a lot of reason for that, but um, we're gonna ignore it for now. Anyway, what we'll do is we'll actually do one last video, which is this one right here, where we finish everything that we want to finish on this ship, and we get it out of here, and then we can start a brand new series. Now, I was looking at this thing from the side, and I was like, that pool looks weird there. I don't know, the, the, the silhouette of this ship just looks a little bit strange with the pool there. But we're going to leave it there anyway. What I'm going to do today is actually go into the interior, go downstairs to where the engines are, which is down here, and we're going to create an engine room. So, let's get straight to it. Alright, so I want one of those engine rooms where we can actually see down into it from above, if that makes sense. So, we're going to go ahead and shove those into there. We're then going to go ahead and delete this area all the way backwards to wherever, I suppose. It doesn't really matter where, but like, there can do. That seems pretty good. Although, actually, let's go out a little bit further. There we go. Uh, same on this side, we're going to go backwards a little bit further. Very nice. From there, we're going to have like ladders where we can get down into there, and that's all good. We're going to go ahead and box this off on this side. I don't know how wide this uh, little path is, but let's have a little look. So, six. So, it's actually seven wide. Whoop. So, on this side, we are going to go from here. Seven this way. There we go. And then we can block this off right here as well. Uh, this is going to remain empty, which is fine. And, yeah, that's all good. Cool. So, let's go ahead and build this in. I am going to actually add walls to the sides of this as well, uh, just so it's a little bit more boxed off. And, in the end, it should work. Alright, so now that we've done that, I've boxed off the room, and I, I think I'm actually just going to make everything down here very dull and dim. So, that's what I'm going to do right now. Alright, so it's very dark and dingy down here. I have gone ahead and added a railing around the outside. I've also added lights across the top because we need some. Um, so yeah, here are the engines. I've gone ahead and actually painted a bunch in these rooms as well. Uh, all the way through the ship, we've actually gone ahead and painted most of it in. Uh, except obviously this room apparently, but I have painted the next room mostly. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So let me go ahead and actually jug the roof in this room. Uh, which should actually change the color in the roof in the other room behind us. So let's have a little look at that, and yes it did. I then want to jug this wall, but uh, we have to go around the edge first before I can jug it, just in case it actually interferes with a different room. So go ahead and do that, and then this piece and this piece, and I think... Oh, just this one. Alright, there we go. I think that is actually all of the rooms painted. Very nice. Uh, this room has a massive, massive ceiling in it. I don't know why I've done it that way, but I have. Uh, this room is wide open as well, and there's nothing in there. Uh, which there could be. There could be loads of stuff in there, but we're not going to do anything with it now. Alright, so we are going to need a way to actually get to the engine room, and I think it's just going to be a hatch down into here, and then we walk through the door into the engine room. I think that's probably fine. So, in order to actually get to the engine room then, at least from the back of the ship, you actually have to go through the third class to go down into here, which you then go down this ladder, and you come out into here, which is the engine room. Uh, there are going to be other places where you can actually get down here, but for now, that is all. Let me go ahead and actually paint these two pieces in. We're then going to do this, and that's fine. So, let's come down here and see what this looks like. Alright, so it's about to spawn in, as you guys can see. There we go. We're going to go down straight into third class, this bit right here. And we'll go straight down the ladder. Whee! There we go. Might need a little light in here, but that's fine. So, in the engine room, we have engines, of course. And we have a way down into the engines via these ladders right here. Which I have seemingly not done very well. What in the world? Um, and yeah, you can just walk around the engines if you need to. It's not a, a very detailed engine room, by any means. Uh, this room doesn't have any lights, this room doesn't have any lights. It's got a door up there for some reason. In fact, what is even up there? Is there anything in this room? Nothing in this room. Um, yeah. <laughs> we need to add a door into here as well, I suppose. And here, and here, and not here. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably end up adding some doors. This room, we might actually have something in? I don't really know what, though. What's below it? We could have a pool inside of here. We're not going to do that though, but we totally could have. Um, yeah, I don't know. Sure, I'm just going to go ahead and shove some doors in there now. And what I'll do after that is add some chandeliers into here. Just to make this area look a little bit nicer. Add some ladders and stuff into here. And yeah, we'll see what happens from there. 
All right, so like I said earlier, we need a way for people to get down to the uh, engine room. So we're going to go ahead and delete two little uh, buildings, two little buildings, two little holes right here. And essentially, we're going to add a ladder into each of these, just like this. And I'm going to build this down to the floor, to at least there for now. We're then going to delete that, and we're going to continue it down to here. Oh, I wanted it to be a little bit further in. Oh, that's really annoying, actually. I want that to be sideways a bit more. All right, I'll do that. All right, so I've managed to do it anyway. So you go through this door, and then you go through this hatch, and you end up going down here. You then go into this hatch, you go down these ladders, and you end up here. So yes, you can now get down the stairs, or down the ladders, I suppose. I say that, this is actually not right. Uh, ooh, yeah, that's not right at all. So that's like out one. Oh my. All right, hold on. That goes there. And then you can go down those stairs. All right, that's fine. That is a-okay. Right, we're just going to do this. You can come down there. You can then go down here. And you can get into the engine rooms. All right, sure. We're going to leave it like that then. Okay, so there it is. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the few things that I've added recently then. So we've obviously got these hatches right here. You come inside. You fly down this ladder. There you go. You then fly down this ladder right here and you end up in the engine rooms. So this is the first boiler room. I might actually box this off, because the rest of them are. If you then go through this door, you've got a huge empty cargo room. If you go through here, you've then got the second boiler room. And if you go through here, you've got the uh, coal room for, or the coal bunkers, I suppose, for them boilers. And if you go through there, you've got the engine room. And honestly, this looks pretty fine. All I need to do now is actually add lights all the way through here, lights all the way through here, all the way through here, and all the way through here, and that should be good. I might actually add a light up there as well, just because I can. Alright, cool. From there, I actually did something else. If I go up here, this needs lights. I'll do that too. But if we go into this room right here, you'll see no chandeliers. And then if we go through here, I've actually painted all the walls in here. Added a ladder so you can get upstairs, so that's pretty good. And if we go in here, we've got these like weird chandeliers up there. Uh, they're not like super bright or anything like that. They're not actually as fancy as I wanted them to be, but they're chandeliers, so they're okay. I'll copy and paste these guys into this other room back here, and we'll leave it like that, I think. All right, so it's about to spawn in. There we go, and all of the lights are on downstairs. Yes, indeed they are. Uh, it is supposed to still be like dark and dingy in here, and of course it is. So we got a light up there, I believe. Should be a light in that room. It isn't on, but it can be on, so that's a thing. Uh, lights in here, lights in here. These are going to be two different rooms, this one and that one. That's fine. we got lights across the top of here. If we go through there, we've got some lights in here as well. And if we go through here, we've got more lights. And then, of course, we're in the engine room that has lights as well, clearly. Um, so, yeah, that's all lit up now, which is all perfectly fine. If I go upstairs... And we go into, uh, mm. <laughs> I'm a little bit lost, into here, you can see that these are on, the chandeliers in here, and these chandeliers are off, but uh, we can actually turn those on as well. So, yeah, that is actually where I kind of want to leave this. Oh, I've also added lights in here as well, uh, that aren't currently on, but can be on if I turn them on. If that makes sense. Uh, so there's lights downstairs through there, and there's lights upstairs in here as well. Which is pretty cool. Alright, so I don't want to leave it there, so we're actually going to add some things. I am going to add something like a library room in here. I just think that would be a really cool idea. In fact, what if you had to like just walk through the library in order to get to these seats back here? That is kind of an interesting idea. Also, maybe you could come into the library room through there as well, so... Maybe that's kind of cool. We'll then do something along these lines. There we go, on both sides. Uh, because I think that would be quite nice. And we can leave that around there. There we go. From there, we're actually going to go ahead and paint these guys in, obviously. So let's do this. We'll go around the edge and all the way back down to the other side. And I'll paint all of this in the right colors, which is all of this color, I suppose. Um, there we go. We'll go back across the top like so. And we will paint all of the internal bits this color. Yes. All right, so in here, we're going to have to make a bunch of uh, shelves, I guess. Uh, I won't necessarily put all the books on them just yet, but let's go ahead and just start building shelves. Uh, so that's going to come out there like that. This is going to come out here like this. And we are going to add books to these, or shelves to these. 
So let's go ahead and do this. There we go. And we'll actually just do them every one. Yeah, that's fine. Leave it open at the top. That's fine. Delete this guy and these guys. In fact, actually, leave one of those. And I am just going to go ahead and shove this guy on here like this. There we go. That one's good. That one's good. And we'll actually do two at the bottom like that. That looks pretty cool. Alright, so I've put some shelves on this side as well, as you guys can see. Obviously, you can get outside of the ship right here, and we can have, like, a little reading area. I think that'd be really nice. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to paint all of this like this. Holy balls! Alright, let's get rid of that. There we go. And all of this too. But yes, we're going to add some seats to the outside right here, so you can sit and read while you're uh, outside. Uh, we need to get rid of things like this, because I don't know where this came from. Uh, we'll delete that all the way down to there. And there might be certain pieces like this around the ship, but we'll have to get rid of those. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and add some seats out here. Alright, so I've gone ahead and taken these chairs and I actually put them in there. I think that's, like, fine. It just doesn't seem like there's enough chairs down here for this, if that makes sense. Uh, but obviously you've got six chairs right here, we've got six chairs on the other side. How many people are going to be at the library at once? Who knows? Probably hundreds. <laughs> um, but that's fine. This is my ship, okay? So, uh, that's all good. We now need to figure out how to add books into this that actually look like books. Now, I could do a paint job, but I don't really want to be doing a paint job. So, I want to come up with a different way of using or doing books. But I don't think I can actually find a way. I think it might have to be a paint job. Uh, what I might do, just um, because I can, is actually just do this instead. And we will we'll pretend that these are books, and that's fine. Right? I think so. Alright, so we've added books to all the shelves, which are literally just paint blocks, but that's fine. We're then gonna go ahead- oh, not paint blocks, they're just blocks that are painted different colours. We're then gonna go ahead and add this into here. Now that might be a little bit of a strange looking thing so far, but that's fine. We then need a seat. We're gonna go ahead and shove a seat into there, into there. We can't actually do it on the corner, because that's not how this works, but we could shove one there, there, and there. And we can build all of this in. So, let's go and shove this guy back here like this. Essentially, this is going to be like a little reading nook in the corner that anyone could come sit at, and that's fine. So, shove that guy onto there and here. And then I'm going to put one of these guys right there. And right there. And then we're going to go to tanks yet again. Yes, diesel tanks. And we're going to shove some small ones down the back end. And this is going to make it look like a comfy seat. Ing arrangement. <laughs> sure. Right, cool. So let's just go ahead and shove... Whoa! My camera. Shove this into here. Alright, that's awesome. We're then gonna have to go through each of these and get rid of all of the diesel. There is literally no reason for diesel to be in a seat. Uh, except from to, to use the, the diesel tank. As a nice thing to look at. There we go. Go to the other side and we're gonna do the same thing. So get rid of all of these. There we go, there we go, there we go, and there we go. I think there's only two more to do. Yes, there is. This one, and this one. Alright, cool. Uh, so, from there, we're going to go ahead and go to Manifold. And we're actually just going to go ahead and add these all the way along the back end like this. There we go, and then from here, we'll go across here like this. And that's pretty awesome. From there, we'll add this guy to the end. We'll add this guy to the end as well. Actually, should we have it go inwards? Maybe going inwards would actually look nicer. There we go, and in the corner, we're just gonna go ahead and put a block. There we go, nice. Nice little seating area right there, and on the other side too. All right, so we're saying that this room down here that is uh, empty, this guy, uh, is actually gonna be a cargo hold, so you can actually shove cargo down into there. Uh, this room above, I guess, could also be cargo, so let's just go ahead and seal this off for now. There we go, and I guess we could have a way down into there. I don't know where that would be, though. <laughs> like, how do we get down into this room? It's for staff only, so maybe we could actually have it go through here. Pretend that the, uh, that this is fine, which it is, I suppose. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and paint around the outside of this, and we'll have some stairs down into that area from here. That makes sense. Alright, so let's go ahead and do it! We're gonna need some stairs, here we go, and we're just gonna go and shove them in. So, stair top is right there, of course. There we go, we're then gonna go downstairs from there, just like this. So, this guy could go on there, there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five, six, seven... Oh my, this is a big, big room. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13. Oh my, that is actually a really tall room. Wow. We could have added loads more um, third class passengers in here. And in fact, maybe we should. <laughs> maybe this should just be more third class rooms. I don't know. Um, for now, we're just going to leave it as is. But yeah, that, that could actually be true. Anyway, let's go ahead and paint all of this into here. There we go. All the way around. Uh, obviously, this side is um, a door to go downstairs. On the other side, we're going to add a door uh, right here, uh, which is just going to be a little cupboard, I think. Yeah, I think that's probably the best way of using this. So shove that guy right there. We'll go ahead and uh, box this off like so. And it's just going to be a little cupboard in there. That's all right. You know what, actually, I think this is just going to be a big old storage room, so we're going to leave it pretty much like this. Uh, however, we are going to add some railings uh, to the stairs just so that we don't have any issues right there. So we'll just go ahead and shove this guy onto here like this, and I will build it up and go all the way to the top, and it should be fine. So let's just go ahead and do this, I think. I think I can get away with doing that. There we go. All the way up to there. Yep. And then we need the angled one, which is the incline, to go on there. Yeah, that works. All right, cool. So we just build all of these all the way up to the top, and that is fine, I suppose. Uh, the ship is a bit of a maze. I should have planned it out beforehand. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And in fact, I think on my next build, I might actually draw it before I actually build it. Because I feel like that makes more sense than just randomly shoving everything together and hoping for the best. Which is exactly what we did right here. Anyway, that's a cargo room, and that's fine. So, what else do we actually have to build on this thing? There's a little room at the front that I want to do. So, this guy right here. I want to just add some seats in here. And paint it, of course. And then, obviously, these rooms need doing as well. But I think I'm just going to lock these doors and say that they are done. It's going to be like the officer's rooms. You know what, I'm locking this room as well, but uh, we will actually paint a little bit in here. So let's just go ahead and do this. There we go, all the way around the outside, yes. And I'm just painting it, I'm not going to do anything else in here. Which is fine. Uh, so let's do that, we'll then go to the outside and we'll paint all of this stuff in. There we go. And paint the door, yep, sure. Do all of this. Oh man, there's a lot to do actually. There's a hell of a lot that we've actually painted, by the way. Like, this ship is painted everywhere, and it's insane. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> All right, there we go. Nice. Let's do this piece as well. Uh, I will say as well, this is actually probably one of the biggest projects I've ever done. Obviously, we've done an aircraft carrier, but that ended up really laggy, and we couldn't really finish it. Um, but, yeah, this is definitely one of the biggest projects we've at least attempted. So yeah, this is the room at the front. We're just going to leave empty, pretty much. Uh, these rooms are all fine. These are done. We've got lights everywhere. Uh, we got lights all the way down there as well. Obviously, we got these rooms. We got this room right here, which realistically, I think we need to add like a toilet into here, which I think I am going to do. Maybe a bunch of toilets. <laughs> Would that be weird if there was just toilets out here? Probably, right? So we're not going to do that. But yes, these guys are all pretty cool. We got the kitchen right there. We're just going to assume that they can go poo poo pee pee somewhere. Uh, we got a library right here. We got a seating area right here. We go to the back. There's the smoking room. I think the smoking room is actually one that I actually really like. Downstairs here is the third class cabins all the way down to the end. Uh, we, of course, have these guys, which are some seating for eating. We've got a kitchen right here. And if we go backwards, we got more third class cabins. There you go. And more seating for eating. Very nice. Um, so yeah, that is where we are going to leave uh, at least the building of the ship. We now need to test it a bit. And honestly, with the amount of weight I've added to the bottom of this, I am actually very, very, very surprised this thing is even still floating. So we're going to start deleting some of the weight that is underneath here. So let's go all the way out to there. And I'm going to go in by two. I'm then going to go ahead and cut those. And they will no longer be attached to the ship. There we go. We're then going to go across, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So here, there we go. Go ahead and cut it. And that's pretty good. Yes. All right, let's go ahead and see how high it floats now. All right, so as you guys can see, it is actually, like, below the waterline, if that makes sense. So the waterline is below the water, I should say. Uh, which is not very good in terms of what it looks like. But in terms of stability, that's actually pretty good. So what I could do is either move the waterline up and call it a day, which I could do, 
Or I can try and boost this out of the water a little bit, which I could do. Or we could uh, try and remove some of the weight from the bottom, which I could do as well, but I don't really want to. I think what we'll do is we'll try and boost it up to begin with. And if that doesn't work, we'll actually just move the line. Uh, so yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so you guys are going to see it at the same time as me, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's sitting pretty high out of the water now. <laughs> Alright, I guess that works, as long as it doesn't just like randomly tip over, which it might do. No, it's actually seeming pretty stable at this height. So, there we go. Let's go ahead and get this thing moving now, and uh, drive it around, and hopefully that'll be pretty good. Alright, inside of here, I do, I would like for this to be nicer, but it's just not going to happen. Uh, we need to go all the way downstairs to turn the boilers on. Now, in order to do that, I think we have to go all the way out to here. This is the front of the ship. There we go. You then got to go down here. Of course. Whee! And down here. Whee! There we go. And we are, I think it's listing. I think it is now listing. I mean, there's not very much of it in the water, to be fair, so maybe that is that is the reason it's listing. Um, okay, well, we can't have that. We can't have that. It needs to be a little bit less high. All right, there we go. So it's lower in the water than it was, which I think is fine. So let's go ahead and turn the boilers on. Obviously, we'd go down the stairs or the ladders that we did before. Uh, I did say I was going to seal this off, which I haven't done, but that's fine. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and I could put a sync button into this thing, and I suppose I might actually do that eventually. Also, it feels like we are now listing to the other side. Ugh. I hate figuring out listing. Stop it! I think what we'll do is we'll actually just move the waterline. Because it was stable at the height that it was at. So that might be what we do. Yeah, because this, this ain't it. <laughs> this ain't it. It's tipping over, look. That's crazy. Okay, we're moving the waterline. Alright, so I've moved the waterline, and as you guys can see, it is it is at the waterline. I don't know how I feel about this, but it's fine. So, let's just go ahead and test it out, and see how this ship works. Alright, the boilers are working. Let's go and turn on this light, turn on these lights. Uh, these three do stuff. This on this side doesn't do anything, so... Uh, if you do get access to this ship, uh, you can go ahead and turn those ones on. Also, the throttles are currently actually not on these guys, which I do want them to be. Uh, they're actually on W and S, so as soon as I press W and S, this should move. Here we go. Alright, at least I'm hoping so. As soon as the boilers get up to speed, there we go, right, nice. So yeah, it does actually move. Um, don't know what the speed is. Wait, why is the speed sensor not connected to anything? I have no idea, but anyway, it is moving, which is pretty awesome. Uh, the lifeboats do work, as you guys seen previously. Uh, so you press 1 to lower it down. There you go. Uh, you might have to actually, like, nudge the first one off, but that's fine. And then to lower them down, you go ahead and press 2 and 3, and that lowers both of those down, and that's pretty awesome. We don't want to do that right now, though, so let's get them back on board. Uh, this has been accidentally painted, so I need to fix that. Um, yeah. Alright, cool. Well, we're moving. The ship is moving. We are set in sail. Beautiful. Uh, I do need to paint these pieces on the front as well, apparently. <laughs> For some reason I didn't do those. But there we go, there's our ship. I haven't actually put a name on the side of this ship either. Realistically, I would have put one down here, but we're not going to do that because I don't want to. This is going to be the end of this series. Uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy it at least a little bit. Uh, I haven't added any cabins up here just yet. I was going to, but I actually have decided against it, and we've just gone with the bottom floor ones. There's a lot of people on this ship anyway, so there you go. Um, I do hope to actually do another build series where we do better than this. I want it to be like a smaller build, but where we actually put maximum effort into getting it 100% complete. Because I think that would be really cool. And, and I do want to do that, but my brain sometimes just doesn't let me. <laughs> it really doesn't. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this series, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.